how about 10 tips for ADHD couples to have a rocking great marriage? I'm Lily and here's my husband Norm. Hey! Woo! It is our 10th anniversary today! And we are on our road trip. I even dressed up in my wedding dress. How often do I get to do that? So the next couple minutes of our video is going to be about giving you tips on how to have a strong marriage if you both have ADHD. The first tip being, go on a road trip. And why is that? <laughs> well, you can share things. You can have, you can talk about stuff. You can listen to wonderful podcasts and things like that. Just have a relaxing time. Uh, you don't have to face each other and you don't have to confront them each other on things. It's all just <laughs> like, hey, let's talk about this. And I think both of us have learned over the years more about each other on road trips than we have any other time just being together. I would agree very much Telling so. Telling some great stories. The change of scenery helps and the fact that Norman loves, loves driving. But in general, seriously, the change of scenery brings up different topics. You're in motion, which I think most people with ADHD seem to like to some extent. Yeah. It's just calming. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. Stay tuned for the other nine tips. Woohoo! And thanks for joining the Lily channel. Yay! Happy anniversary to us! Happy anniversary! <laughs> now, in addendum to the road trip idea that Nora mentioned, I have to say, whoever is sitting in the passenger seat, often me, or I, I have to be careful when we're having a conversation that we're not interrupting the other person. Because a lot of people with ADHD have a tendency to interrupt each other. That's not as easy to do when you see that their mouth is moving. And I don't want to interrupt him. So it's usually when I'm sitting there and I'm looking ahead and he's driving, there's a good chance that he's saying something, he's thinking, thinking. I'm going, oh, I got all this energy, I gotta get it down, I'm gonna complete his sentence. Do you know how annoying that is? I do. Yeah. <laughs> so the trick is to look over at the person yeah, who's person here. And watch them when they stop talking. And they may stop and glance over at you. Like, okay, it's your turn. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a good tip. And it's wonderful because you don't want to interrupt your, your spouse or your significant other. No. It's, it's not good. So oh. it, it really... Watching what the other person is saying, because they're, they're busy watching the road. They can't look at you. Exactly. But if you're in the passenger seat, make eye contact or at least watch the other person. Yeah. And it helps you to focus because you're looking at them instead of looking out around. You might feel nauseated if you're looking at the moving scenery so you can look away on occasion. But it does help you to focus on what they're saying if you're looking at them. Right. Plus, then you won't interrupt them. Cool. Have patience with each other. That's number two. That's number two. That's right. Because life is not a is not a sprint. It's a marathon. Thus, the treadmill. <laughs> that nobody so nicely volunteered to be on for this. Maybe the person is feeling flaky and they lose attention span or their keys. keys and then what wouldn't you say uh, you don't say oh my god I can't believe you lost your keys again <gasps> you're so disorganized <laughs> so that's one thing and it's it's it, it words hurt sometimes so, so be nice. remember be nice be patient and stay tuned for number three tip number three is spontaneity <laughs> Allow for spontaneity in your relationship because, why not? <laughs> it's always very important. Why not? Yeah, it's, it allows you to be, uh, surpri you're surprising both people. Uh, you find a new thing and sometimes you find a new passion. Yeah. And in the meeting, making new friends even sometimes. Yeah. Crazy so. things happen like your wife wears her wedding dress on a road trip to Wisconsin. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> always fun. So. Kind of adds into the last one too, so be patient and oh, have yeah, spontaneity. That's, oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so never, never nix a bad idea or not a bad idea. Never nix an idea that may sound bad to you at first, but then all of a sudden go, "Wow, that was kind of fun." Yeah, I like it. Yeah, stay tuned too. for number four. 
Number four is... Teach each other something. something. Yeah. Yes. It will make you both vulnerable at some point as well as the expert at some point. Yeah, it is very helpful to, I mean, it's not really teaching, it's more like if someone is not sure of, of something or if you, you know, you both have different types of skills. You know, like I can teach Lily how to change a tire or work on a car engine or something like that or, or even, you know, uh, be more aware of her finances or, or her ability to, uh, to reach out to people. And she can always teach me on how to be a better person and... Hungarian. You, yeah, Hungarian, yes. <laughs> and sometimes the person's skill supersedes yours. Like I taught Norm how to build a vermicomposting bin, and then he got better at it. Which honestly sucked, but that's okay. I enjoy that part, sort of. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you remind me what to do about it, like with not making it too wet, etc. So mm -hmm. there's... There's positive. It's it's humbling. It's a good experience to be humbled. I think quite as yeah. humbling as marriage, oh, but it's a good thing. Yeah. But we are pretty much even <laughs> on that playing field of teaching each other new things here and there. And something I'll be surprised. Like she's phenomenal at marketing, which I'm okay at, but I'm not great at. But I'm good at it. But she's fantastic at it, and it's always amazing to see how well she relationship builds and how she does that. And she does it almost by magic. I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And soon he's going to, you're going to teach me how to race a car, right? Yeah. I'll teach you how to drive a car really fast. Holy crap. <laughs> she's pretty good driving cars really fast now. She's actually improved quite a bit thanks to my help. And I think I've taught you how to better parallel park because my dad taught oh, yeah. me that. She's an expert. Score. She's actually an expert at parallel parking. Thank you very much. She's amazing at it. So even teach with, each other. E even without a backup camera. Okay, yeah. Right. Yeah. So okay. she was saying tip number four, right? I think we're at four, guys. Cuatro. Cuatro. So yeah, she can speak Spanish now. Uh, it's in Hungarian. Need. 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 Can you say it ne like Need. Good enough, yeah. Need. Something, <laughs> Sorry. Something being nagged, Don't laugh but that's comes. okay. <laughs> But nagged. Not nagged. Need you. Need you. Perfect. Wow. See? Yeah, he Look, did I'm an expert it. now. Cool. Kivala, which means excellent in Hungarian. So, see, I'm learning Hungari more Hungarian every day. All right. So, Eat learn from each other. Eat a shem. She's my sweet. <laughs> and see, so we have uh, we have bubbles up there that like brain, brain, brain stem bubbles. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just yeah. go with it. You just go with it. Like, you ready see? There. <sighs> My go. hands are aching. Yeah. But it's, it's, thanks for watching this yeah, part. We, we've got, we stay tuned for number <laughs> five. Cinco. Uh, um, uh, sank, which is in French. Ooh. And uh, it's funny. Like, in, 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 yeah. And what is it? What is it in uh, Ut. Hungarian? Ut? Ut. Yeah. Ut? We thought we would show you our less made up side so to speak yeah. we are chilling at our hotel room no makeup for either of us imagine that yeah but seriously just when we're not completely energized we're just like loopy tired we had a wonderful day fabulous there. thank you so much to all of our hosts out here yeah. in beautiful wisconsin oh my god it yeah. was gorgeous yeah we're waiting for our pizza to show up which is yeah. taken about an hour and 15 minutes <laughs> so far they, they told me no to be fair they told us an hour and fi hour and 30 minutes so we got more than 15 minutes before we did that, so we thought we'd get this done and put in. We've been looking at YouTube, hi to Olive Joa channel, we love yeah. her. Yeah. Hi to, what, what, what were you looking at? I was watching Kim Oman, who's a Formula One yeah. photographer, and he brought his family on, on a uh, uh, the Singapore race, which is this weekend. Mm. And so I can't imagine what he spent for airfare from, oh from, from Perth, Australia to Singapore. It, you know, probably was not as expensive as if it was from Minnesota or something like that or yeah. the United States, but I, I can't imagine what it would be. So. Well, and our meds have completely worn off, so yeah, we're totally so, off topic. So of course, we're rambling on. Yeah. As usual. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll chat soon. Chat. Number five, be goofy around each other. Tiptoe through the tulips. <laughs> Do-do-do-do. <laughs> 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 <laughs>